This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm in Leicester today. It's fight night, Capital V Davis. As you can see, I've got Carl Frampton with me. Uh, Carl, how you doing? I'm not doing too bad at all. Yeah. Seen uh, pictures with you and Stevie G at Rangers. Talk to us yeah, about that. Yeah, no, I was up doing something for 32 Red, um, who sponsor myself and Rangers, obviously. And um, a wee bit of footage will be out in the um, next few weeks. Me doing a bit of football for the players. Um, trying to box as well. It was, it was good crack. I enjoyed yeah. it. How was Gerard meeting? Nice him? guy, really nice guy. And India's boxing as well. And um, I think he's quite friendly with, with Rocky Fielding too. So um, I really, really down to earth. Nice guy. Yeah, we'll come on to Rocky. Hero as well. And I was really like, I was. You know, you meet people like that, big, big star mm -hmm. Gerard. Like you don't know what to expect, but really great guy. What have you been up to today? Out for a walk. Yeah, with yeah. Jack. Jack, yeah, earlier on. Um, but but shit the weather outside so uh, we're only out for a wee while no you been to Leicester before? never in my life first time here as well yeah don't think I'm coming back <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah let's talk about uh, Jack Cattrall via Hara Davis tonight Jack the slight favourite of the bookies how do you yeah. see it? I think Jack beats him I think he beats him convincingly um, Hara Davis is not a bad fighter but we've seen before that you know he quit that's it the be all and end all he quit against Josh Taylor I still think Jack is the show, has the show on a fight night, his best, what he can do. He, he still hasn't showed it yet. He, um, what I've seen in the gym, um, sometimes you're just standing, like it, it takes you back a bit and you go, you know, this guy can really fight. I want him to show that tonight, and if he does, um, he'll take O'Hara Davies out, no doubt. Well, let's talk about one of your other gym mates and uh, Rocky Field in breaking news last night. He's mm. going to fight Canelo. Madison, Madison Square Garden, December the 15th. You must be buzzing for Rocky. Yeah, like Rocky's, Rocky's just a great guy, one of, one of the nicest boys around. See him, mate. Um, I couldn't have been a nicer bloke. And, you know, obviously it's a tough ask. Canelo was the superstar, but he's the number one guy in boxing at the minute. You know, he's a bigger name than AJ. You know, it would be hard to believe for some people in the UK, but. Um, yeah, Canelo, globally, he's globally the is, name. is a much bigger name than, mm. than AJ or anyone else for that matter. So, for Rocky to come in there, um, it's a it's a big ask, but he's a real puncher, and and punters always have a chance. So I'm looking forward to it, but I'm delighted that he's got the shot. And do you know what? It's a win-win for him. He's getting himself. You know, people, Mexicans and Americans, may not have heard of Rocky, but neither will. Mm. He's fighting Canelo. Um, he's putting his name out there. He puts in a good performance and. It's it's not going to be a bad thing, and again, he's a he's a serious puncher, and there's always going to be the chance that Canelo was and his team are overlooking Rocky. Um, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. How long did you know about that fight? About a week. Okay, must have yeah. been hard to keep that quiet. It was quiet. really hard because I didn't tell anyone. Um, and yeah, I. I just didn't tell anyone. Didn't want it to get out of the bag in the slightest, and it was great. I like I like the way it just kind of shocked everyone. It was a bit like the Kell Brook, Golovkin, Golovkin one. Mm. Um, that's the way business should be done. You know, no need to, you know, talk about it and have these rumours flying about. It's a big kind of shock and a surprise element for everyone. I think it's 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 a bit bigger when it comes like that out of left field. So, um, fair play to all involved, MTK especially for for. Getting, you look at look at the, what the fighters are doing at the minute. You know, I'm I'm fighting Warrington, a huge fight. You got Billy Joe getting a massive payday against Andrade. Um, Tyson Wilder. Tyson Wilder. Um, Paddy Barnes fighting for a world title and only his what fifth fight or whatever yep. it was. Um, they're making big waves and, and obviously Rocky and, and Canelo now. I'll say one thing. I seen it. Can't remember who tweeted it last night. I seen someone tweeting it and. They were kind of just giving credit to Rocky and saying fair play to him for you know taking the fight, but they were saying when the fight with Canelo and Amir Khan was made, you're kind of worrying for Khan's Khan safety. safety. Tom Gray tweeted that. Tom Gray yeah, from I Ring saw that Magazine. Well. It was a brilliant tweet. Mm. But Rocky's a big man, and and you're not worrying about that with Rocky, um, and he can handle himself. So. I thought, yeah, it was a, a great tweet from, from Tom. I've seen some idiots on Twitter giving Rocky stick for saying, why are you even taking this fight? But it's a career. They're idiots. I that, don't know, you, yeah. you said it, and that's exactly what they are. Why, why would he not take it? It's a, an absolutely win-win situation for him. A career high payday can 
you know, help set his family up. He's two young kids and a um, and Jess. He's not married to Jess yet, but um, maybe with a maybe with his payday, he will get married. <laughs> mm, sure. You mentioned uh, you and Josh Warrington. Um, great fight for the fans again. BT pay per view. Done all the media tour. How was it? It's all nice, dead civil, respectful. Um, just you know, get on with training now. Get the head down and, mm. and get on with it. Been some year for your trainer Jamie Moore as well. Did Unreal. You? I one trainer get, of the year. It's getting better, isn't it? You know, mm. it's he's one trainer of the year and we've had some big performances. Jack's gonna continue that tonight, I think, with a win over O'Hara Davies. I'm gonna do uh what's his name? Josh Warrington. And uh <coughs> and then Big Rocky Fielding's gonna shock the world and Chin Canelo. Let's see. That's that's the year that's the year that what a year that is. What a year. Would he become top three pound for pound Rocky if he does it? Uh, it'd be just unreal. And it's like no, it's, it, I, look, we're all aware and we know it's a huge task at hand and he's a big underdog, but there'd be absolutely no pressure on him in this fight. Mm. And whatever happens, happens. But one thing for sure is Rocky is a serious punter. Carl, who did you fancy in the Josh Warrington Lee Selby fight? Selby. Okay. Mm. A lot of people are now 50 50. What's your sort of mentality yeah, going well, this fight? The thing is, I, I, I fancied Selby going into that fight. Um, I knew he was struggling with the weight. I thought, you know, he, he still should have enough for Warrington, but Warrington was great that night. He kind of bullied him and, at times, and he fought, he fought quite smartly as well. Um, so I think if you look at, if you look at Josh Warrington before the Selby fight, you know, you ask 10 people who's gonna, who would win, Warrington or, or myself, and they would say me. Um, and then he goes and beats uh, a malnourished, that's what he was, Lee Selby, and now they changed their mind. And I, I'm looking at that fight and going, oh, good performance and well done, but it didn't stop him. Mm. And he was, you know, he was really bad at the weight. Um, so, you know, I, he's taking confidence from that win against Selby, but I'm also because I, I'm looking at that going wide and I'll get rid of him. So, we'll see. What sort of fight are you expecting with Josh Warrington? Don't know yet. Um, I have to expect everything. I could expect him to try and be in my face and, um, try and you know force the pace or he may he's shown in the fight with Selby he can box a bit as well um, so you know I, I just have to be ready for him I think it I don't think it's going to be an easy fight but I just think if I'm if I'm on it which I intend to be then then I win the fight and I think I'll win it convincingly when was your last pay-per-view was that Scott Quigg Scott Quigg yeah. yeah happy to be back on box office well it's just big fights isn't it and, and again it's a bit of a uh, Bit more security for for myself and my family, which is the most important thing in the world to me. So, um, and these are the, these are the times you get well paid. So, um, yeah, I'm happy. To, I'm happy to be fighting for for good money. It's a well, it's a prize fighting mm -hmm. game, you know, and that's that's what we're all in it for. Well, listen, Carl, appreciate your time. We look forward to tonight, uh, Rocky in New York, and you with uh, Josh Warrington. Thank you. Some good fights ahead, but thanks for talking to IFL TV. Anything you'd like to add, Carl? Uh, no, he always says at the end. I never know what to say, so <laughs> no, I'll say no more. Okay, top man, Carl. Thank you. Thank you.